Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Joining us this morning from Greater Michigan Oral Surgeons is Dr. Bobby Lesneski. Thank you, Dr. Bobby, for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. You're welcome. Okay, during this COVID-19 pandemic, have the number of dental emergencies really increased? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, given the quarantine and the shutdown, many dental offices and medical offices closed. So consequently, we were extremely busy having patients from all over the state of Michigan come to see us to treat them, mostly people that were in pain and had no other place to turn. So we stayed pretty busy during the time. Now, since the restrictions have eased, how has your practice changed? Well, it's funny. I believe that during the shutdown, uh, most dentists and patients realized that dental and oral surgery is not so elective. So. Now that the restrictions are free, we've seen a huge number of patients come in that, you know, didn't realize they could come in at the time that are having pain, discomfort, needed a wisdom tooth addressed. And one of the funny things that we've noted is, I think with all of us sitting home, we realized how much we enjoyed food. So people who were missing teeth, didn't have teeth, or had dentures that were not fitting properly, um, have come in, and to, are coming in to see us to get dentures adjusted or to get implants placed to support missing teeth or again to support dentures that were not fitting properly. You know, doctor, I've heard a lot of this from parents recently. Is it safe now to go back to your dentist for regular care? I absolutely think it's safe to go back to your dentist for care. I mean, we're always practicing universal precautions. And on top of that, you know, we've implemented a lot of things in the office, like limiting the number of patients in the waiting room, having people wait in cars. We've increased our barriers and our protection. All of our staff is wearing PPEs. We're making sure all of our patients have personal protection equipment on. Um, and doing a lot of things, we're getting rid of paper products. We're trying to do things virtual or do things online to limit the contact. But again, as dentists and oral surgeons, I always view us as in the forefront um, when it comes to that because we're gonna treat every patient at every time like they have a virus or they're infected. So universal precautions is the way we were trained and you know we've continued to implement that throughout this time. And you know, I'm sure now that everything's changed. So when, how can patients prepare themselves to go into the dentist now? What should they say, oh, this is gonna happen when I get there and what should they expect from you? I think the hardest thing and the most difficult thing from a patient standpoint and from a provider standpoint is the lack of personal touch given the fact that we have to wear masks there's less communication at the front you're doing a lot of things online and even when you're bringing a patient back it's really hard for them to understand that we are empathizing with them and that we are trying to relate to them we are trying to connect to them again the, the masks and the barriers and the way we're doing things definitely make it a little less personal which is hard because at the end of the day, we know that people are nervous to come see us, so they're frightened. And you know, you're trying to connect with them so they know that they're gonna be treated well. And again, it's just made it a little bit harder for everyone. And what would you say, you know, doctor, that people are, are, if they're apprehensive about going in, how important is it to make sure that you seek care if you need to? I understand and I respect everyone's opinion for how they feel about this. But the biggest thing that we have to understand is that we all know that oral health care directly impacts our systemic health. And if you're gonna to continue to put things off, you can put yourself in a much situation where maybe you didn't need to have surgical intervention or you didn't need to have treatment. You delayed things for so long, now you're ending up spending more time, more money, more energy, and it's a lot more stressful because again, you're delaying treatment. So I encourage anyone who's having pain or discomfort to at least give us a call. You know, we're doing virtual consults for those who are less comfortable and don't want to come into the office. We're also fielding a lot more phone calls for people who want to just talk and talk things out. And, you know, especially now, we're happy to do that to make sure that people are comfortable and at least their issues are addressed. Thank you, doctor, for putting our minds at ease today. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I always appreciate you guys. You're welcome. If you'd like any more information, head on over to the hot link section of WNEM.com.